Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we are going to deal with ear drum perforation and return to diving. Keep watching. We got a question from a diver who had suffered a perforation of their tympanic membrane four years ago, initially suffered hearing loss, which seems to have recovered, probably as a result of recovery of the eardrum. It's unclear whether the individual needed surgery to correct the eardrum, and it's also unclear whether or not there was a uh, complication, such as a cholesteatoma, which is where skin sometimes develops in the area of the perforation and can sometimes cause additional complications when it comes to the ear. The question continued in asking whether or not the individual can dive with earplugs. So I need to put this on a bit of a bigger framework and just address it from there. First of all, the right answer in terms of fitness for diving is that you should have intact tympanic membranes and that these should be able to withstand the rigors of diving and the pressure changes and the individual should be able to equalize easily. Having said that, there are a number of individuals who have had tympanoplasties and in some cases the eardrums are not quite as strong as they used to be. Now there are two pieces of equipment, if you like, that have been produced that do provide a modicum of protection to the eardrum. The first is the so-called DOX Pro Plugs, of which the transparent or the clear version actually has a little valve that allows it to equalize to pressure and in addition to that actually provides a little bit of additional protection to the eardrum in that it seems to attenuate or slow the transfer of pressure into the ear. So I would say that's the cheapest version of actually going for some sort of plug with which you are actually able to dive. That is if the eardrum has healed and that you need to confirm with an ENT or diving doctor familiar with ear problems and of course their recovery. The second option is a more expensive one and that is the so-called Pro Ear Mask which you can buy through Amazon and various outlets and what that does it actually cups the ears with the same sort of air pocket that you wear on your face with tubes that connect to the ears and they keep the ear dry. The benefit of this is not only does it to some extent dampen the transfer pressure onto the ear, although you still need to equalize, but even if a perforation were to occur, the chances of water entering through the eardrum and causing the dizziness or risk of infection or the other things that sometimes coincide with a perforation of the eardrum aren't as likely as they would be if you dive with no protection whatsoever. The one thing you do not want to do is to dive with either a solid earplug or with no protection. But it's very important to see that you have in fact healed, that your hearing has recovered and that you're able to equalize easily before entertaining the possibility of continuing diving. I hope it works out for you. So until next time, safe diving.